Hello everyone. Today we are going to cover practicing ICD-10 PCS coding for the mental health and substance abuse treatment section. So to start, the mental health section, the services here will start with a character G. So character one is for the section, the mental health codes start with the character G. The second character position will be for body system, anatomical region, physiological system, or section qualifier. And in the mental health section, our character for the second value is always Z for none. Our third character is the root type and it's for the specific service provided such as uh, psychological testing, counseling, family psychotherapy, individual psychotherapy, crisis intervention, electroconvulsive therapy, biofeedback, or other mental health conditions. Now characters four, five, six, and seven are all for qualifiers. So some of those root types, again, for our third character in the mental health section include psychological tests, crisis intervention, medication management, individual psychotherapy, counseling, family psychotherapy, electroconvulsive therapy, biofeedback, hypnosis, narcosynthesis, group psychotherapy, or light therapy. If we look at our fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh characters. These again are for qualifiers. Now the fourth character, the qualifier is going to be used to tell more information about the root type, the third character of our code. And then characters five, six, and seven are always going to have the value of Z for none. Looking at the substance abuse ICD-10 codes, these codes will start with H, so the substance abuse treatment is H. The second character is for the body system. The third character, again, is for the root type. And then qualifiers four, five, six, and seven characters. So if we look at the root types in the substance abuse treatment section, we have detoxification, individual and group counseling, family counseling, individual psychotherapy, medical management, and pharmacotherapy. So again, just like the mental health section, our fourth character is a qualifier that's used to give more information about that third character root type. Also, like the mental health section, characters 5, 6, and 7 are all qualifiers with the value of Z for none. Now let's do some practice cases. So our first practice case, we have a 55-year-old admitted for chronic alcohol abuse with acute alcohol intoxication. He received inpatient detoxification. So what would our root type be and what is our code? As always, I'll give you guys a minute and then we're going to go over the steps to find this code. Okay, so let's walk this together. Hopefully you guys already have the code. This one is super straightforward. So our root type is going to be detoxification. So if you open up your PCS book to D, to detoxification, I'm on page 45. Under D, detox, detoxification services, there, the only option is for substance abuse, and it gives us our complete seven character code, HZ2, 
Z, 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 Z. Now I always like to verify in my table. So let's flip to table HZ2 and just verify our code. So page 804, you guys should see the table for detoxification and then all our qualifiers are Z for none. So the correct code for detoxification from alcohol or drugs is to code H Z two Z Z Z Z. The other thing I want to point out is our book has really great explanations as well. So if you're not sure if you selected the correct root type, remember you can read the definitions in the table as well. So on the top of page 804, it gives us the definition for detoxification. It says definition, detoxification from alcohol and or drugs, explanation, not a treatment modality, but helps a patient stabilize physically and um, psychologically until the body becomes free of drugs and the effects of alcohol. So again, if you're unclear, if you selected the the correct root type and you're in the correct table, make sure and look at the definitions and explanations. And that's for all the, the entire PCS section. All the tables have that. Let's go to our next practice. Practice number two. So this patient is a seven-year-old male with congenital brain malformation and intractable epilepsy. He has microcephaly as well as dystonic cerebral palsy. He has a reemergence of seizures. He is admitted for the Mullen scales of early learning to assess his development. His medications, we will continue his current dose of include Zonogram and Lamatel. Both of these medications are very long acting. Discontinuing them while in the hospital may simply result in severe seizures after discharge. The test results will be discharged with his family prior to discharge tomorrow. So what is our root type and what is our PCS code? So again, you always want to ask yourself, what is the intent of the procedure, the intent of the service? So here, the intent is for the Mullen scales of early learning to assess his development. So with that, what would our root type be? If you guys are unsure, we can go back to our third character choices for root types. They're here on the slides. So what root type do you guys think? Hopefully you selected the psychological tests, right? That's what they're doing with this Mullen test. So if we go back to our scenario, the Mullen skills of early learning to assess his development, that's psychological. So let's go to our index. We're gonna go to P and look up psychological. and it's under psychological tests. I'm on page 87 in my PCS book. So once you get to psychological tests, we can pick cognitive, developmental, intellectual, and psychoeducational, neurobehavioral, neuropsychological, personality, and behavioral. So we're gonna pick developmental because that's what they're doing. It specifically says he's admitted for the Mullen scales of early learning to assess his development. So we're gonna pick psychological test and then our subterm is developmental and we sh should see G, Z, one, zero, Z, 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 right? So again, always flip to that table just to verify that the code you found is correct. So if we go to the table, G, Z, one, On page 800, 
Again, our definition is there. It says the administration and interpretation of standardized psychological tests and measurement instruments for the assessment of psychological function. And then our qualifier is for developmental, so our zero for our fourth character, which we have. And then character five, six, and seven are all, all Z, so our code is G, Z1, 0, Z, Z, Z. Okay, one more case here. So this patient is coming in to detox from heroin. Our HPI, or history of present illness, says our patient is a 52-year-old gentleman with a long history of heroin abuse who keeps relapsing. He presents once again trying to get off heroin. Last use shortly was prior to arrival and included cocaine. The patient does have a history of alcohol abuse. Mostly he's concerned about the heroin abuse. So our procedure, the patient was taken to the detox unit where clonidine was administered for heroin. The patient was continually monitored by the nursing staff. So with that, what is our root type and what is our PCS code? Again, let's go back to our third character choices. So would our root type be detoxification, individual counseling, group counseling, individual psychotherapy, family counseling, medical management, or pharmacotherapy? So hopefully you have those third characters pretty solidified. And let's go ahead and look at our scenario one more time. So our patient, our procedures, what we're coding with PCS codes, right? We're coding the inpatient procedures. So our procedure was taken, um, taken the patient to the detox unit where clonidine was administered for heroin. The patient was continually monitored by the nursing staff. So our procedure, our root type, is the pharmacotherapy, right? Because we're using a medication to treat him. So in your PCS book, go to P and then down to pharmacotherapy, which in my book is on page 84. And the index listing inside the PCS alphabetical index is pharmacotherapy comma for substance abuse. That's what we're doing, right? The patient is getting medication, pharmacotherapy, for his substance abuse. So we're giving him cl clonidine for his heroin abuse. So then indented under the pharmacotherapy, we want to find our specific medication that was administered, which was the clonidine, and it's code H Z nine six Z Z Z. Right, hopefully you guys see that on page 84. Now always verify, so let's flip to our table to H Z nine. Which is on page 805. Again, it gives us a nice definition at the top, right by the table, right by the character nine for pharmacotherapy. The definition is the use of replacement medications for the treatment of addiction. And then our qualifier, our character four, we're gonna pick six for the clonidine and then character five, six, and seven are all Z. So again, our code is HZ96ZZZ. I hope you all found this very beneficial and thanks for listening.